All right, what's going on, FSU fans? Coming at you from a different scenario this evening. A little dark out here. Um, I, I had meant to post the Florida State Miami post game reaction, so my apologies not doing it immediately after the game. Um, but I still got to get it in. We won, and uh, Miami had a good team. They played us tough. You know, I wanted to talk real quick on my instant reaction to address the safety. Um, a lot of my Miami Hurricane friends were really pissed that they weren't awarded that safety. And um, unfortunately, you know, refs makes bad calls. Uh, they had one, they gave Miami a first down when the quarterback got hurt. If you look at the replay, didn't look like he made it, but they gave it to him, which would have gave Miami another opportunity to score, but Florida State came up with a stop defensively to seal the game. So, you know, um, the, the refs haven't been great, especially in the ACC, but uh, ultimately Florida State was just a better team when it came down to it. So, uh, but great, great game by both teams. I love the robbery. Unfortunately, <clears throat> um, you know, I think Florida State is in a situation where they have to win out and they have to win convincingly because of this stupid postseason playoff format that they have. Power five conferences and only four teams can make it. Um, I still hate the college football playoffs and I'm saying this as we're undefeated. Cause when I said this, uh, when Mike Novell got there and we lost to Jacksonville State that year, People were saying, oh, you just mad because your team's losing. Well, we're undefeated, and I'm saying the same thing. So I've been saying this, by the, by the way, if you've been watching my uh, channel. I wasn't on TikTok at the time, but I had a YouTube channel that I still do, and I've been saying the same thing. So let me cross the street. Hold on. All right, so this water behind me, like, it's about to flood. Out the earth, it's crazy. It's been raining so much yesterday. But um, Mike Novell, he is a risk taker. I will say that. Um, he, he did an onside uh you know, kick right after halftime, started the third quarter, and we didn't get it. And that was really risky at that point. You know, you give Miami a short field to work with. So you know, it paid off though. I mean, we won in those chances. And you know what? I'm not mad at Mike Noville for taking those kind of chances. Um, I like our chances the way our team matches up with the teams in the ACC. But when you do that against a team like Georgia or Ohio State, it might be hard to, to give them that sort of a field and stop them. Some of those risks, might backfire on you. So um, I love Mike Norvell's aggressive play calling, unlike Jimbo. But, uh, you know, certain teams, got, I, I, it'd be interesting to see if he does that against the Georgia Ohio State. But Florida State right now needs to win out. Unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with the politics of being in the ACC and the perception of a weak conference. And we're going to have to beat whoever we play and blow them out. We're going to have to blow out Florida and possibly Louisville for the ACC championship. But either way, Florida State controls its own destiny, and we can't really worry about what the stupid committee is going to decide. We just got to focus on us, and whatever happens, happens. So um, I don't know how – I think Florida State has gotten better from week one till now, uh, but how do you stack up against the other elite teams in college has yet to be seen. But I like our chances with weeks to prepare and just being better team that one day. I like our chances. We played them in the series. I don't know. But if we play in one game, I like our chances. So we'll see what we do. And much respect to Jordan Travis uh, because people were down on him when he first got to Florida State. Now they forget about what they said. I remember people were going in on him saying he wasn't this and that. And we have to give time for people to develop. We live in a microwave society, unfortunately. But Jordan Travis now looks like what we what people who know football, we he looks like exactly what we thought he'll be. And he's, he's becoming a complete quarterback. So go Knows, uh, big shout out to Mike Novell as well. And I hope Florida State wins the whole thing. Go Knows. I would love to be able to say 2023 FSU champs. Go Knows.